There we go. We're on. Fabulous. Excellent. Uh, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to one of our other bite-sized webinars. It has been an extremely hot week so far, so I hope you've all survived by eating loads of sugar-free ice lollies. Um, you will see we are minus a person on the panel today. He was last seen going out for something to eat last week. And word will have it that he is currently selling PPE out of the back of his car in a market. Yes, we haven't got Will Murphy, but I am absolutely thrilled to say that we're joined by Jag. Hi, Jag. And Hi, yeah. okay. that chap with the dodgy beard, he's still with us, Mr. <laughs> Carl Horton. Hello. <laughs> right, guys, we're just going to have another chat uh, slash whinge. Um, so, Carl, let's start with you. How's your week oh, gone? I knew you'd ask me first. I know. Uh, <laughs> I have to kind of, I have to kind of remember. I have to kind of remember now. Uh, yeah. Um, well, yesterday was a little bit warm, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, last, last night was. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't <laughs> it just? I was, uh, yeah. I, I, you see, normally I'm absolutely fine with the heat. In fact, I, I actually really enjoy it. I quite like it. I look forward to it. But for some reason, last night I was uncomfortable. Um, well, probably because it was hot. Um, <laughs> so, so, and and I heard I heard a rumor. This I was at Malvern, and this lovely lady came in with hair that matched a uniform that matched a water bottle, and said, uh, "I've just had to put some ice in one of the chaps' uh, ice t-shirts that he's wearing." And I was like, "Ice? What's an ice shirt?" Yeah, and then she started, ex yeah, and she was explaining to me that you, Jag, had, <laughs> had a shirt on no. that you can put, you can put ice into it so it cools you down. <laughs> wasn't Jag? It I wasn't me. And I, I was getting, I was getting enticed. I thought it was something real. <laughs> No, no, this is real that one of them oh, did. Really, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. It's not you. I'm yeah, playing. Well, I think. I, I think. I, I, I was struggling so much last night that that looked good to sleep in. Sounded good to sleep in. <laughs> um, this is what some don't do. There's little panels. In terms of work, yeah, work again. Uh, just inundated with uh, consultations, and it, it's. It's really, it's really hard. I'm still, you know, still trying to figure out why, why it is, whether it's uh, a repercussion of people having all the extractions rather than the, uh, the usual care. I know that we've seen a few that have had teeth taken out during lockdown uh, because there wasn't any alternative for them. And, and they've popped in because they don't like the idea of the space. Some of those were front teeth. Um, so we've seen certainly uh, a, a, a busy uh, consultation process again. The the scanning people where we're sending them for scans are, are up and running. Jag, your place uh, running really nicely. You yeah, know, we'll talk, talk about that in a bit more detail if that's all right in a, in a little yeah. bit. But in terms think, of you, yeah, I was just going to say with the consults. Do you think it's just because people are like furloughed and they've got loads of time? So now, like you know, if we've all got busy lives where we can't get time to do the stuff we need to do. But now they're furloughed, and it's like, let's do you go. know what? Yeah, I mean, when and they're not when, spending their money on holidays, maybe well, abroad. Yeah, you may. Yeah, but you could be. Yeah. I mean, when when we've had recessions in the past, because we've we've been, you know, I'm old, so I've lived through a couple. <laughs> um, you do you do see that people tend to spend on themselves more in recessions and things that make them feel good or make them better. Yeah. And you see that that they spend that rather than in sort of spending on investments or, or superfluous things they'll spend it on sort of beauty products and you know retail therapy so you actually see this kind of upspend up in things like that and implants is one of those things um that i think probably fits into that category because you know it, it does make people sort of feel better about themselves when you replace a missing front tooth it does so, change yeah. lives yeah, well, yeah, it certainly does that. Yeah, I mean, we've had some big cases uh, where we've we've made some big differences recently, haven't we? We have indeed. Uh, one at your place, actually, mate. That's that's ticking along quite nicely. So I'll be looking forward to. Yeah, I'm I'm in awe of one. that one. I'm looking forward yeah. to seeing that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So so you know, we've in fact again another thing that we've had uh, a big uptake on are the full arch 
uh, mm. implant cases. So they kind of came in dribs and drabs, and it was almost like a little bit of a roller coaster. You'd get one or two, then you'd you know have a little bit of a dry period, and then you might get four or five. But I'm I'm seeing probably about three or four a week at the moment um, of those cases coming in, and some of them are dual arch, which is incredible. So you know it's it's going to be difficult sort of fitting those those ones in but we'll manage it but um new practice that we visited which was um an interesting practice um which had sort of an operating theater kind of setup um very nice setup indeed um so again uh, a bit more of an uptake on those we've got a new guy working with us as well uh, that was sort of welcomed in um the education thing has calmed down a little bit because they're all obviously on half term, but that will pick up again. So teaching wise, that's just sort of taking a break. Am I talking too much, Kate? Boring you? No, no just having that's a Jim, That's Jim, by the way, Jag. She's oh, is it? Is it? Gin, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was yeah. worried about having a drink beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> and, just drink uh, doing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then in, in terms of sort of some of the some of the new tech coming out. Uh, there's been a couple of new things that uh, we've been having a little play with, um, you know, and and that's 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 gone well. A couple of the hiccups, so a couple of little scans that we took, uh, the scan bodies were a little bit difficult for the labs to use, but it's a learning curve. Sometimes these things is all new technology. And talking about new technology, I'll pass back over to Kate because that was my that week, was and then smooth. yeah, thanks. That was smooth. <laughs> yeah, was. You, know, you know, particularly, I mean, we, your practice is, is fantastic for so many reasons and you have an amazing team. Yeah, I'm very also, lucky. You are very lucky. You also have had the addition of uh, two toys, I think, over the last six months, one of which I uh, already explained to you that if I worked in your practice full time, you wouldn't get a stitch of work out of me because I'd be watching it. <laughs> Can you talk us through um, the two items I'm talking about? Um, yeah, so is it three? The CBCT. Oh, really? Is it oh, CBCT? Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah so I, I had the CareStream 8100, um, the CareStream 3700 intraoral scanner, and the ZF uh, milling machine. Um, literally had them delivered at the, just before lockdown with the finance payments about to start before lockdown and ben my business partner wasn't happy that i'd ordered so much so but it worked out all right i mean we managed to the finance company were great got us i think it was a six month holiday period brilliant so you know it's all linked up to exocad so when lockdown lockdown happened i just went to work and practiced designing scanning designing crowns bridges um it's you can't go back i mean like now we're prepping scanning um for crowns designing them it takes about three four minutes to scan three four minutes design a crown you can mill a premolar in about 14 minutes um a molar in about 20 minutes you lot saw i mean you saw me the mill start um it's it's amazing i mean it's good because you can change it sometimes with the two crowns you have sort of like a point contact but really you want a nice broad contact so you can change the contact patients love it because you come in one injection no yeah. my temper my temperies aren't very good <laughs> <laughs> you know? um, temporary. No, yeah temporary no te temperies. yeah minor temporary temperies um and they have and they're just blown away they're blown away but it's especially good in this covid period you know they they come in you know they're only coming into the practice once i'm happy with the cross infection control in the practice but you're always worried about their travel to and from the practice you know our all practices were good before the covid you know people are like telling us oh you should wipe down after this that and it's like but we were doing that pre-covid everyone's copying the techniques that we the procedures we had before yeah. covid so it's nothing yeah. new do you know what i mean it's just it's like everywhere's a dental practice all of a sudden <laughs> yeah yeah people telling us oh what are you doing it's, it's like well, everywhere else. yeah 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 
It's like we've been doing it for ages. Yeah. But yeah, the machine has been amazing. Like for patients, you know, just I think it's good if like if you live a busy life, you, you know, it's hard to take a afternoon off, let alone because you're not going to take an hour off work, are you? Because by the time you travel to a dental practice, there for half an hour, an hour, you're just going to go home. So you tend to take an afternoon off. Yeah. And then for, then for the crown fit, you come back and you have another afternoon off. So patients are blown away um, just getting it all done in one day. It has been a bit of a learning curve. It has been a, been a bit of a learning curve. But, I mean, now the fit, I mean, I mean, you, you start, you've been using a scanner for a while now for yeah. the implants. I yep. mean, you can't go back. You know, oh, at no. first, at first, it's like you work. It's everything just seems too complex. But what? It's all about getting a good workflow. Like with mm. the scanner, the one thing I've learned is you freeze up the patient, take an X-ray while the uh, while they're freezing up. You scan the mouth. You know, or you get your girl uh, nurse to scan the mouth while you do something important, like look at Facebook. Instagram, <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, know. you know, so you let them scan the mouth and then you, and then you prepare the tooth, but on the care stream, what it allows, I think I'm pretty sure with all of them is the tooth you've prepared. You can cut that tooth out the scan. So when you, when you need to scan at the end, you're just scanning that one tooth. So it's just learning the workflow to speed things up. I mean, patients are just, blown away by it i mean i did one like a 74 year old and she was like oh this cad cam is unbelievable i was thinking how do you know what cad cam is <laughs> you know patients do know yeah about they do know about technology and mm. i said a lot of them you tell them about it you know when i do the telephone triaging you know and you tell them what you're going to do like i'm the scan it going to you know design it mill it a lot of them will read up yeah about it before they before they come in i mean they're blown you know they're blown blown away but i'm still like some of my girls are just like they still can't compute they just say they don't understand how it does it and it is it, it is, is crazy it's phenomenal i mean you, i have got to admit yeah I mean, you've yeah, been using a scan yeah well i mean i'm uh, we've got we've got a few patients that sort of are listening in so one of the, one of the the way it works is instead of the gel and the sort of the impressions that they have for dentures and cranes you, you use this sort of it's the way i describe it is it's like a little camera and yeah. it takes lots of little photographs of the t teeth and it turns that into a three three d image that the computers can see and understand and then that image gets emailed magically flows into your scanning machine which then has the same material that we make the cranes out of and then that that scanning machine uses that information and cuts a shape that's the same shape as the shape that we've made on the tooth and then out does the outline so it puts all the little grooves and the fine details in and then yeah. that's effectively your new tooth and then that gets glued on and that takes as little as between 12 and as much as maybe 25 minutes from yeah. start to finish which is it's better than three weeks or two weeks or whatever it was yeah. um but it's definitely more accurate because they need, need to the understand accuracy, yeah the accuracy is because, incredible isn't it yeah because when you t what they're going to understand is when you take an impression the impression can have distortions and then that needs to be cast up in plaster the plaster can have distortions and then it's going to be made by hand so that could have distortions. So there's three areas where you can get distortion and the crown might not fit. But with this, because it's digital, yeah. you know, there's less chance of any distortion and having problems. Mm. I've all my crowns. I mean, I've probably done about 30 crowns on that machine. And Already? Wow, that's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had no issues. But, I mean... It's unbelievable. Like I had a patient come in. Uh, it's just different. It, it's just, I think we're only at the tip of the iceberg with what it can do. Yeah. You know, I, I had agree, a patient. I, agree, yeah. I, I had a patient come in. She had crowns on the front. Um, she broke one tooth off at the gum level. It was unrestorable. Nice lady. Uh, she needed him. We, <laughs> I did joke. offer her. I did. <laughs> 
No, actually, I did offer. I, did, I gave her the option. She can have an implant, uh, but she had a crown on the other tooth. And I said, look, yeah. what we can do, we can take that crown off. Um, so I took that crown off, scanned it. We milled a bridge, took the broken tooth out, and fitted the bridge there. All done Amazing. in an hour and a half. So she's come yeah, in. I'll, I'll talk to you off air, mate. <laughs> you tell me off that's another no, one you no. could have <laughs> no 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 not at all not it's at all it's not it's the only option a, a massive difference jag i mean even as you've said during um the covid uh, uh situation the difference it's making for you your team and your patients so just imagine what it will be like when you're up and running even more as in you're seeing more patients and things have been a bit more relaxed I mean, it's going to be phenomenal, really. Yeah, I mean, patients love it. I mean, it's the only good thing is we're slowly getting – it's all – you don't get any faster with the equipment. You just get a better workflow. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? You yeah. can scan – you can probably scan a bit quicker, but you're only going to – we're talking you're saving 10, 20 seconds. Yeah. You're not saving – it's just getting the right workflow. I mean, we've had teething issues. You know, I did, I did have one patient who I, can, I couldn't finish on the day um you know and we had to no actually we did finish on the day i prepped it in the morning but i had to get it back in the afternoon there's certain stuff where like the machines had an up uh, when we the machine wasn't switched on so when we when we went to mill the machine mill the crown the machine need when it switched on needed an update so that took 15 20 minutes one of my girls wanted to wipe the machine because it looked a bit you know they, you know when you wipe down you get the swirl marks she decided to wipe it down while yeah. it was milling but it's a touch screen she switched it off oh, oh no <laughs> i won't mention who You're which nurse learn. it was she knows who she is <laughs> oh, oh she knows when uh, when um you were talking about that bridge i think you might have mentioned this to me did you change the design of the pontic as well i think which was something that you were able to do on the software. Yeah. So you were able to kind of create a pontic so that you got a nice tissue form so that it, it looked, if I remember rightly, I, I, and I thought, yeah, well, that, you know, that's really great that you can design that in the exo. I think, was it the exo you designed? Yeah, it? so you know, what I did, you know, what I did was with the bit of root left. Yeah. It was broken off gum level. So I, when I froze her up, I, um, I filed the tooth, the bit of root to turn it into a, a pontic. Yeah. Subgingivally. So like a, with a high speed, it's easy to make a nice pontic. So while the gum, it is only a temp, it can only be a temporary bridge, but while it's healing up, it'll form a beautiful yeah. pontic site. And the other thing I managed to do was just reduce the incisal just slightly. So it's out the bite. Yeah. Um, I mean, but it's like I said, it's just like, I'm blown away, but the more you put into it, the more you get out of it. There's still, you yeah. still have to, you know, it's not a case of you just do it. You, it is a, it is a learning curve, but there's so much you can do. Like I've had, I've done multiple crowns on there. I've done a crown and an onlay, you know, it's absolutely amazing what that machine can do. It's like, brilliant absolutely crazy and your scanner um can you so use that your... scanner for sorry kate can you use the scanner for ortho oh. and other options and things like that no. is it... so i've actually ordered another scanner have you uh, okay. yeah so <laughs> I, i've Do we... ben I... Ben. I... just ben <laughs> <laughs> so basically yeah basically yeah so my other practice we got an itero scanner and i got a good deal yeah. on that yeah. Um, because they do a fair bit of Invisalign. But what with this practice, I went with the care stream because the care stream with the eight with the C B C T and the scanner, it, there's no fees to pay uh at all for maintenance or software updates, you know. With the iTero, it is quite expensive monthly. I think it's about two hundred and sixty pounds a month. So I went for the care stream solely because there's no I think we spent a lot of money and I d I didn't I just about convinced Ben that we're gonna have that finance and he would have just beaten me if 
I said, there's a <laughs> you know, software fee we're going to pay every month. So I went with the case. I'm happy with it. It's good. I mean, there's little things like, like, but I've ordered an Itero as well, you know, because we I've got two dentists who do Invisalign and Itero, the only ones who will accept it. But there is a good link up with the Itero now where the Itero have bought ExoCAD. Now, ExoCAD is the software I use to design the crowns. So, and they've just had a link up with DSD, you know, the digital small design. Yeah. So I'm actually have, speaking tomorrow. So yeah. there's a link up with the Itero there. But it's all cra- like, I think a lot of the scanners out there are good. But when I was buying a scanner, you know, it's not like buying a car where you can read or you can test drive because I knew nothing really about it until you get it. Then you realize the pros of having it and the slight cons of having it. You know, it's not cheap. It's not cheap. It won't make you money in the short term, but it will change the way you work and for the better. Do you know, I think, I think that's, that's what it's about, isn't it? I don't think that this is an investment that is going to some, bring, bring money into your practice. So in, yeah. in terms of a business investment, it's not. But in terms of a patient care investment, it's massive. You know, I think that's, and, and in terms of kind of like a, you, you, you can either cycle to work or you can get driven to work. Yeah. <laughs> neither, neither of those I do. But <laughs> if, if I had a choice, it would be nice to be driven to work. And I think that's how I kind of see the difference between the digital side of things. Because when we're scanning the patients, you can see them kind of engage in the scan a lot more. Oh, they love it. They and, look at you yeah, know, when they see their so, mouth, when they see them, when the, sometimes uh, it's hard sometimes with patients because sometimes you say to a patient, Oh, you need a crown, you know, and they're like, Oh, you know, you can see they're not like, it's not that they don't believe you, but it's like, you know, you feel a bit awkward, but when you have the scanner, and I, so like I, I, like I do the, the workflow I do, like I scan the mouth, and it might be like an upper six where they can't see, and they see a massive cavity, or they see a massive amalgam broken. They're like, oh my god, that's my tooth, and it's like, yeah, yeah. and they, they they can see. It just gives them sort of reassurance, you know. Yeah, that it's, they, it's, they, it's they, a very visual thing, isn't it? And, and, a, and yeah. that's a, it's, a, it's a big help, I think, when you can actually visualize. Yeah, something, yeah, especially and, when uh, it's direct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, like I said, with the patient care, the impressions, they, you know, they they can gag on the impressions. It's a lot easier to have a scan. And then also once we've, the other thing is if we've got a scan of the mouth, if anything happens in the future, you know, we've got a scan of the mouth, like we could make, print a model out. Uh, we can print a model out. And if we could do a big composite buildup, we can print the model out make make a stent to do a big composite builder you know mm. there's loads of things you can do i think like i said i'm only at the beginning you've been using it longer than me uh i'm only at the beginning and it's just like every week i'm learning something new to do mm. i had somebody come in like i said i've done multiple crowns i've done I've, somebody came in um he wasn't happy with his teeth so we booked him in to have two veneers on the day yeah. And he was like blown, blown, and blown away. Brilliant. You know, I'm not surprised. So, are you letting any of your colleagues play with these toys, Jag? Or are you? Uh, yeah. yeah. What I, <laughs> the problem is is I didn't want anybody else to use it because we had a lot of teething problems. No matter how good a system is, you know, like just simple things like, you know, the Wi-Fi dropping. Mm. So, you know, you ha- if the Wi-Fi drops. You, you know, it, it stalls a bit. So even in this day and age, so when I'm designing the crown, as a matter of due course, I just pl- ha- um, plug it into it straight into the internet. Yeah. So it only drops now and again. But if you do that, it prevents any problems. But I wanted to learn or be quite slick at it. Yeah. Because I don't want to be teaching something if I don't know what's going on. And you little things... Think- I was just going to say, just little things like the milling machine, um, that disconnecting, but it's just a simple button to connect it, but 
when you're there thinking, oh my God, what's happened? It's quite scary. Yeah. But I've had one of the dentists, Gurry, um, he's had, he's uh, used it on two patients and he's, the patients loved it and he's blown, blown away. I just think you're not going to earn, it takes longer than doing a crown and then sending it off to the lab and getting the crown back, you know, so unless you charge a lot more. So you're not going to earn more money f from it, but it's just a different sort of way way of life. I mean, I, you don't even know what endo is these days, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Don't so, believe in like, that. Take it yeah, out. Yeah, <laughs> take it out. But, like, I can say it's from when I went from hand file to, like, wave one. Yeah. You know? It's I total, wave one. Yeah. Yeah. It's a no. You, when was the last time you did Ender? Uh, oh, you're talking about 10 years ago. Decade. It yeah, must be it, last decade. I think they brought it out. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't even disposable files in those days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it's, it's just, it wasn't, it's, it wasn't even BSE. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, yeah. That's when they, yeah, single use, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I think it's just, just actually, a lickable. Just used to lick yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I when I qualified, like sorry, like that's I was just saying, I used to get the nurse to lick them. Oh, yeah. stop it! Go on, but two thousand and one when I qualified, I remember like how stuff has changed. Like we had an autoclave in the surgery. All these mm. young dentists who want everything perfect don't remember what it was like when we had an autoclave <laughs> in the surgery. Do you know what I mean? I mean, that seems archaic now. You know, yeah, you're treating does. a patient while you've got an autoclave going. <laughs> And you'd have your, you'd have maybe have your composite or your anaesthetic on top to warm it up. So. Yeah, to warm it up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, since digital is honestly, it's like you're not going to earn money straight away. Like you're not going to earn more money. I think you're going to lose money initially, getting to grips with it, and it is a steep learning curve. But there's just so much you can do with it. You know, like I said, I did that temporary bridge. You know. I wouldn't be able that. What I mean, what are the options for that? I mean, mm. uh, a denture next day, um, book yeah. it back in for an immediate implant, but that's something you're not gonna, you know, the immediate implant, you know, look how busy you are, you're not gonna get that the next day. No, you know, sh no. You, yeah, you've got to go through put, consent and everything, yeah, yeah, you, you'd have to go Very everything different. properly. You might even, you might even want to scan, you know, yeah. so you, you're gonna give her a denture first, you mm. know, possibly in Maryland. But you know, oh, the, you know, the machine also makes Marylands as well, temporary Marylands. Yeah. It's crazy. And even if it breaks, you've still got the scan. So yeah. if the patient says it breaks, you can then mill another Maryland. So when the patient's up, you would take the old Maryland off of the tungsten carbide and glue the second one on. But Far yeah, easier so to keep a scan than it is um, the the actual models. Yeah, oh my god. I mean, oh, that's yeah. just... you used to have a room dedicated just to keeping models. Yeah, yeah, you used to work in <laughs> yeah. practices that did a bit of ortho, and you'd have a dedicated, you know, shed for yeah, yeah. plaster models and everything. I mean, the new age thing was sending the models off to be scanned. Yeah, yeah that was the new, yeah. the new techie way of doing it. Oh, it's all right. Yeah. I can dispose of my models now. And the, and the people, that was when you could throw away your models, but now you have to have a designated. Um, yeah. Uh, wet container waste. for it, wet waste yeah. container for it, but that's yeah. I do. I do uh, ortho, um, and we make the retainers on site. On site, uh, but I have to. That's why I have this model scanned, because if they ever need a retainer, I'd get the model printed by a lab, and the retainer made. But now I've scanned the mouth. We can just print the model off in house, and make a retainer in house. So. You've got the milling machine. You've got a 3D printer as well. Yeah, I've got a 3D printer. Uh, so it's four things because you've got the CBCT scanner, you've yeah. got the intraoral scanner, you've got the milling machine, and you've got your 3D printer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you're you're full, fully digital then from start to finish, an absolute full workflow. I would say I've got all the gear, but no yeah. idea. <laughs> 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 I know. To tell you one thing that has changed for us, and is is the CBCT machine because that oh, is yeah. that helps a huge amount when Amazing. we're trying to to help patients. And in fact, we've 
we were working yesterday at your, your sister practice and we, we've referred a couple of patients over to you guys because that's the big thing is that a lot of the patients that we see are elderly they don't want to travel too far they don't they don't uh, want change no, no and and so actually having one somewhere local that they can get the scan taken this scan is i mean we never used to do it it's like, it's like the autoclaves in the rooms you never used to do it and, yeah. and hope, hope they didn't go wrong but yeah. why you know why why do that when you can know when you can be really accurate and risk Absolutely. minimize the risk completely i mean you know you, you want as less risk as possible it's hairy enough anyway doing that yeah 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 so i mean to be able to I, do that is is at the time that you're doing your consultation and then again show the patients visually where the bone is and where the sinuses are where the nerve yeah. is fantastic absolutely i mean it's, it's i mean the patients don't have to travel but i think the other yeah. thing is is i do, you know patients you can explain everything to them yeah, and a week what, later they forget everything but they're actually having the scan there <laughs> for, but it's true though isn't it you know well, you can I'm have a cleaner like plan and they yeah. just forgotten the whole procedure they're like so you you're like oh we're gonna place an implant you know <laughs> you know we'll get you back in to remove the stitches <laughs> Three months later, we're going to, you know, take impressions. And two weeks after that, you have a crown. So they'll come back with the thing signed and uh, the consent and treatment plan signed. So you're going to place an implant and I'm going to have the tooth on it. It's like, no, no. But, uh, but with a CT scan, you have it there. And, you know, patients, are, everybody's better when they've got something visual. You know, you I'm learn good. more when you've got something visual. So having a scan there. And explaining to the patient, it's just so much better. And you can some of them still don't understand what an implant is. No, you know? I know. And, I know. Yeah. and then when you when you get a scan and you can say, look, that's the bone, and yeah. that's where I'm gonna place it. And just simple the other thing is with the scan is like bone defects. When you say you need a bone graft, yeah. you know, when you get yeah. a big buckle defect on the scan, you can see you can see it. Even a even a non-dental person can see where a tooth is missing that the bone has shrunk away. And it's not as high yeah. as as yeah, really other helps. places in the mouth. But your case is the bone's probably shrunk in every year. I'm just a beginner, yeah. so I'm just doing, you know, the easy cases. And <laughs> you're, you're you know, you're doing the more complex cases where there's there's no bone. Um, but you are right, visually, it's fantastic for the patients to be able to see it because you know, there's that level of understanding when you can see it and you're listening to what's being um explained. So I think yeah. they're fantastic. But I mean, if lay people, some people won't understand what a milling machine and as a 3D printer is. So a milling machine is basically, it's like a block of porcelain. So we mill that down to get a crown or a bridge where a 3D printer is actually we're building something up from scratch. So we could be making like a plastic denture, a plastic... Um, temporary crown so some people don't can't grasp what the difference is between a milling machine and a 3d printer some people think a 3d printer will 3d print a crown it's not it'll only mill plastic so you can have it for temporary crowns but you're not going to have it for a permanent crown you know they're, they're working on it they're working on it oh uh, yeah yeah I'll, I'll, i'm like no. The stuff I hear through the grapevine is just like crazy. Like they're printing, you know, like the route. The route now is you print a model, then make a retainer on it. But there's talk that they're printing the retainer straight off, milling yeah. a retainer straight off. Um, I know they can mill a soft white guard straight off yeah. the bat. Uh, I think it's called. Somebody sent it today. Key soft. I think key soft something like that. So you, you don't even need. A model you just print the soft bike guard straight off the bat i mean with cbt um and the 3d printer the big thing for implants is um guides yeah you know so that's the thing i went with the care stream intraoral scanner and the care stream cbct scanner it's because you can merge the extra oral scan and the intraoral scan together so if people don't understand that, one's everything inside, like inside the tooth, inside the bone, and the other one's a scan of everything outside, so you'll merge them together. So, so I'm assuming your goal then is that what you do is you, you walk in, you're going to have a chat with your patient, yeah. you're going to numb them up, 
you're then going to do what you normally do and go out the room while they're numbing up for i'm joking <laughs> you're gonna you're, gonna, you, you're then gonna prep your tooth no so so no no, no numb them up take yeah. the x-ray yeah. So, are we talking about implants or crowns? I'm, no, or... no, I'm talking about what I'm talking about in my head. This is where I'm I'm visualizing your process. So, you'll numb them up. You'll do the prep, yeah. and then what you'll do then is you'll go upstairs to get the Wi-Fi connection so that you can get onto Facebook. Well, your nurse scans your prep, and then you've educated your nurse to then design it on ExoCAD <laughs> for, for you. Hi, and then you, she'll you... do the milling. Well, Sorry, my back. One second, my back Don't forget you're wearing. Die. Don't forget you're just not. You're in your uh, commando, mate. Don't forget. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> there's not much. There's not much to say. <laughs> yeah, carry on. Sorry. No, I was, just, I was just playing with you, mate. I was just playing with you. I was saying your, your idea is that you go in, you prep, and then everybody else does all the work for you. Then you walk back in again with this shiny printed crayon after 15, 20 minutes and go, look what I've made, and then fit yeah, it. Yeah. But actually, you get the team to do all the all the but, scanning and the uh, the design and everything. But you joke about that. But, mm. like, I honestly think, like, the team, like, honestly, like, the girls, like, are – the more you give them, because everybody's got assumption that dental nurses are dumb. You know, everybody yeah. assumes that, you know, honestly, like they're amazing. The more you put into them, the more you get out. Like mine are radiographically qualified. They can take impressions. So before the digital, my girls were taking all my impressions, you know, for crowns, bridges, you know, you know, they were taking the impressions. So, you know, I've got, I'm actually going to send um, two of my girls so they can take – they're radiographically qualified so they can take the scans. So when yeah. you guys send them in, I don't have to – I don't have to do it. I can get the girls to do it. Um, and they do the enjoy girl, that, Jack, I'm sure, as well. You know? Yeah, they're, 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 no, no dental nurse wants to just sit there sucking saliva. You know, they want to be doing – they want to be doing complex stuff. You, you know. do have proactive nurses, though, Jag, don't you? I mean, we, we know your team. And I, as I said at the beginning, you do have a strong team and they are fantastic. Yeah. Um, in our experience, when um, we've come in, um, they are just on the ball, but they, they're hungry for it. They want to know. They want to yeah. learn. Um, they're fantastic. Yeah. I mean, they like working with you guys because, like, you know, they're seeing, you know, you know, they have, I mean, we do a lot of stuff. I mean, like I said, we do we we do the same day crowns. I mean, do, I do small makeovers, you know, ortho. But you know, with you guys, it's another level. You know, they get to see full. Can you they hear get that? To I've see been heckled, sorry. Yeah, they get to they get to see full arch. You know, implant cases, and you know, yeah. where else would they see that? Not many nurses actually see that on a regular basis, and it's interesting for them. It's something different you know instead of seeing loads of patients every day you know and not you know big session doing a full arch case is amazing yeah. to watch you know somebody wants v books i think <laughs> are you you fall for that no how much do you give you need to say no too much mate too much you're like literally you give it and it'll give you like a day's grace it's not right is it i mean I, i'm just i'm still quite can't, can't quite get my head around it it's, uh, <laughs> you know, it doesn't work in my world. But yeah, hey. what, what, one of my nurses, you know her well, uh, she gives away a lot on V Bucks as well <laughs> <laughs> to her son. Uh, oh, I think I know which one. <laughs> yeah, I think I know which one as well. Yeah. Right, guys, we're hitting, the, well, we've exceeded the marker. Uh, oh, well, I was going to talk about the Daily oh. Mail, the, the no. wonderful Who and Daily Mail article about yeah. how patients should stay away from dental practices oh, despite yeah. the fact that we are probably the safest place to be in. I mean, I couldn't, I can't quite get me. I mean, I understand maybe, maybe I'll just talk about it for a few moments. Maybe yeah. who have sort of put that out as a generalization for those countries who have got quite a, quite a high uh, infection rate, Brazil, America, maybe. And maybe those people might not, want to go to the dentists and i can understand that and they have to be they're they're a world health organization so they have to look at the world as a whole rather than the individual country but the daily mail have done us a, a, a 
<sighs> yeah, I've got to stay. I've, I've never yeah, read the but, Daily Mail, and I never really intend to. But Carl, but um, there were there were there was um, I've forgotten the dentist, and he had a webinar with dentists from all around the world, and no other, none of the other dentists are doing what we had, where we had FFP three masks. Yeah, we had them. We had them fit tested. You know, wearing a full full gown. Yeah, none of these. They're all wearing. Most of them are wearing the standard. Uh, Norm normal. What's that? As Normal, we were prior to lockdown. Yeah. You know, they've got patients in the waiting room. They might be distancing them, but nobody's doing what we're doing. Uh, in a way, I'm happy for the who to say that because we are still snowed under. We are, <laughs> you know, we no, are, actually, we are, yeah. yeah. I, I'm, I'm snowed under. And you know, the worst thing is, like, it's gone, my day was really busy. And I've gone down to sort of like seeing, sorry, four five mm. patients a day i don't know if it's the heat or i've aged a lot in the last six months but i'm knackered yeah. i'm oh, physically yeah, exhausted well i have this from will and carl yeah. <laughs> i'm physically exhausted I, I, maybe i'm doing like in the lockdown i'm doing more implant cases and i'm not I, I like i said with each one you know i'm still like quite new well i've been doing it for a while but I haven't got the expertise like Will and Carl, but I'm so sort of, I have to concentrate a lot. So I'm still finding it physically and mentally draining. I'm end of the day. I'm knackered. Daddy. I am knackered. Daddy. Do you know what I mean? I yeah. Uh, oh, books. Need some V books. Yeah. Uh, you that. <laughs> he he picked that back and he picked that white one. Okay, go look after him then. No, he needs he needs he needs to open the door. Okay, I'm coming. Get Jeevan to open the door. No. Okay, get Simran. Job for Daddy. <laughs> no, no, no. My she doesn't. It's my younger daughter. She doesn't get on with my eldest son because he's quite lazy. My other daughter was very good with her. So if I've asked her to get him, she was like, no, because she knows he'll never do it. She's got a very cute voice, mate. She's yeah. Wow. Yeah. She sounds <laughs> very cute. I, don't know so are you I was going back to are you knackered then at the end yeah, of the yeah. day? Yeah, I am. Like yeah. literally, you know, yeah. I need I need something just to take help me relax regularly <laughs> now. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm just, I am That's just. A different webinar. Yeah, we'll do oh, that. I was, just, I was just talking about <laughs> a glass of wine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just, honestly, I am shattered. I, it could be the heat. Like this week was just absolutely yeah. like crazy. No, 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 we, we've, we've had a few people on that said exactly the same thing, yeah, really. Right. Um, yeah. You know, so all, 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 all the clinicians saying so since we come back, door, absolutely shattered. There's a YouTube video, isn't there, of that guy <laughs> that's talking about. Um, one second, one second. The, I'll, in the little I'll, I'll come in a few minutes. I'll come, I think I'll we're come close in a few minutes. I'll come in a few minutes. Come in, come in. Say, say hello, and then daddy yes, will say come. Say hello. Yeah. Hey, hey. how are you doing? Hey, you've got two Hello. new dogs. Have you got two new dogs? It's mommy birthday is uh, Maxi. Wow. Maxi and Kayla. Nice big time. Tank? Bigger and smaller. <laughs> only four of me. <laughs> oh. But yeah, what were you saying, Carl? Sorry. Uh, they, it's it's a common theme. Um, lots of lots of uh, clinicians are saying the same sort of thing. So I'm hearing lots of clinicians are saying they're really really tired, and then I'm seeing lots of nurses that uh, have got the 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 marks and the bruises and yeah, you know yeah. the exhaustion from uh, overheating and everything like that. Um, you know, it's, it's yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm worried about when we go back to normal like it's scaring me like how i'm going to cope with a full <laughs> i am like you seen what how busy we are at Beaudley. yeah i i am yeah. really really scared of like so the daily uh, mail have done you a favor then yeah <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm happy i'm happy because it's like we run. we are we are triaging patients yeah. and seeing all our patients but we're still like we're still, we're still i yeah. suppose because we're a good good size practice that We've got a lot of patients that we're continually going to have patients in pain, broken yeah. teeth, swellings. It, I think for me, it's not it's not so much the um, the patient numbers that it might affect. It's the honesty 
and I hear just I get riled when people say things that aren't true. Um, so when they they I suppose well they're based on what who said, so they're trying to, trying to base on fact. But it, it, what the underlying thing is sensationalism that we're dirty places to visit yeah. when we're not. We're exactly the opposite. It's a very yeah. safe, very clean environment for patients yes. to visit, and they don't need to be worried and they don't need to be scared. And that's what that's what irritated me about it. I think. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree. I agree with you. But what it really annoys me is also when you go to like shopping and you see all the different masks, and it's like Jesus Christ! Like, Mate, where do they get yeah. these masks from? They've got like I saw another a person the other day who had an FFP3 mask on. Yeah, and it was blatantly the one that goes over the head, but he'd worn it round his ears. <laughs> You know, at the beginning when the lockdown happened and I looked at getting FFP3 masks, you know, the disposable ones were like £30 each, £30, £40 each. The best thing, you know, which is is madness. I mean, it's just like I'm grateful. Like, are you using a reusable one? Yes, I'm using a combination. I've been fit tested on a few. Um, So it depends on which practice I'm working in. Um, but yeah, I'm using store. using those. The, the, my preference is the reusable one, and I know that there was the concerns about um, hygiene and cleaning it down and all that. But I don't really have a, a major concern about that. I think the issue was a lot of them people weren't cleaning the inside. Yeah, that's the most. It's not just the outside. No, you got to clean the whole lot. You got to clean the inside of the mask. Yeah. I mean, the guy, I don't know if it was a horror story, the guy, when I went for the fit test at training, he was talking about one person who didn't clean the inside and he had mushrooms growing in his lungs. Oh, oh. <laughs> so I don't know if, well, that's what he said. Yeah. 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 It, Magic mushrooms. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't think he was that lucky. I don't <laughs> think he was that lucky. But yeah, I, I am scared when we go. I know you're going to be scared because you're an implantologist and you like placing implants but no implantologist likes restoring you're gonna have so much to restore (laughs) i know i know do you know what i mean i mean yeah every you know we love placing implants but you know restoring Uh, is just like nobody likes restoring do they it's it's the actual doing it no when it's done yeah yeah when it's and you're happy with it yeah but that that technical move from indexing the implants to getting the lab back and provisional and then permanent and fitting it down and checking it, I oh, yeah, yeah, I love it. I love, I love we're, we're live, remember? I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you you like the end result because yeah, love from it. where yeah. you started, it, it is like got the work you guys do is amazing because it is life changing. We got. Uh, do you know what I mean? Just before we came on air, we got an email from a, a chap that we'd looked after, and it actually blew me away. Um, I, I wasn't expecting it. it; came out of the blue, and it was something that people would regard as simple and straightforward. It was a single tooth that I'd looked after for him, um, and uh, just out of the blue, nice, nice little email, just saying really very pleasant things about uh, how he'd felt and how wonderful. Uh, the, the experience had been for him and I, it's that kind of thing really that you just think that's this is why we yeah, do what we it's, do. it's nice to, it's good to get that validation because sometimes yeah. you know you do the work and sometimes you yeah. do this work day in day out and you're not on the other side and you don't see you see you do nice work but you can't imagine how much of a how much it can change somebody's life you know, you know, you do, you do check. It can, you know, just being able to eat, smile. Yeah. You know, not worrying about, not worrying about a denture yeah. falling out. It is life changing. Properly, They can go out and socialize. It has a massive impact. Yeah, yeah. 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 They can socialize more because they're not worried about, you know, a, 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 you know, a denture falling down when they're eating. They can eat what they want rather than what they should. Or yeah, it is, it is, it's underrated. It's, well, yourself, I've, Greg, the work you do as well. Yeah, I've been eating what I want in lockdown as well. <laughs> <laughs> my cheeks, they say the camera adds 10 pounds, but my cheeks look a bit, you know, they look a bit big. So can you, like, there's no way you can, like, you know, like the Instagram where yeah, you can yeah. change yeah. it. I should have asked if you lot could do that because it looks like I've got yeah, yeah, we'll quite big cheeks. 
you know what I mean? Bit yeah. more hair. Yeah, yeah, right. it's not a problem. I'll I'll put some filters on or something. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, sorry, right. yeah. Stop talking all right. now before we start talking about having all sorts of work done on your faces. Um, yeah. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining us, Jag. A massive thank you. And no, thank you for having us. Must, must let you go and enjoy your wife's birthday. Bless her. Carl, thank oh, yeah, you yeah, for yeah. your Guys, Pleasure. hope you all have a fantastic weekend. Might be marginally cooler, but let's just hope the sun stays out. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, have a good day, guys. Take Cheers. care, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.